It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new life for me. And I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Zach, and welcome back to another video. My guys, today we got another Skyrim video for you guys. Now, number one, this video is very, very cautious. And by any meanings, it makes no sense, and I might have a little bit of banter just for you guys, because I have no idea what I was trying to say in this uh, particular video. But things were happening, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do, make sure to drop a like, hit that comment down below, and tell me what you guys think of this video. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button for me. And I'll be uploading daily as you guys check on my Twitter. Uh, but I'm just saying, I'll be uploading daily, so make sure you check that out. Other than that, guys, yeah. Check the link in the description to my Twitter, my social media, uh, what I'm saying. Uh, anyway, that's it. Later! Alright, we are back. Alright, my man. View collection. Okay, crown store. Huh. Looks like we're back here. What's going on here? Huh. Sergeant Delms. You've returned to your senses. Let's talk. Um. I'm sorry, huh? So, care to tell me what you're doing on that slaver ship? I'm sorry, what? Please do not tell me she abandoned us. Please, no. This is the port town of Sedani, on the island of Vardenburg. We fished you out of the burning wreckage of the slaver ship near Fyam. If you're not a slave, why were you dressed as one? I'll let Governor Salvi sort this out. She wants to see you. Best not to keep her waiting. Oh, go, Jesus. This is Come the with problem. Me. Great. Not only do we have to deal with these guys, but we're also going to have to deal with somebody who actually gives us any problems. I swear this guy is dressed like a woman. Jesus Christ. Well, that's how it is in fantasy worlds. So I can't really judge. I can't really judge. I can't really judge, guys. I can't really judge. Well, <laughs> that passed him. <laughs> Let's open. Let's open. Rescue sergeant. Let me just record the name in my ledger. Not this one. Governor Self doesn't want an official rep. Really? Very well. The governor's in her office. Well, um. Well, I guess he's going in the same as I am. All right. So this is what I mean. More people are in here, so that's actually cool. What? Oh dear God! As governor of this region, I have questions that need to be answered. We found you among the wreckage of the slaver ship, and we found a strong box with your name on it in another wreck. I'll give you the strong box if you tell me the truth. Uh. Did she? And where is this writ? I don't see any writ. And without a writ, all I have is a murder. Take your strong box, but we'll hold on to you until I have proof of your claim. I have no patience for tale tellers or slavers. Excuse me? I know you didn't just say that. Oh my lord, here we go again with this nonsense. This is exactly what I get. Exactly what I get. <sighs> Fine. Either you're gonna be like that, then. Complete quest. A moment, Governor. Here's my honorable writ of execution for the slaver, Captain. These papers appear to be in order. We're done here, hero. But don't worry. I'm sure we'll see each other again. What? I suppose you can go now. And we'll leave your name out of the official record. Just I me. know you didn't just do it. I know. Did you guys just see what? Did you guys just see? <laughs> what? 
I just spit all over my freaking stuff. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but, dude, what the freak is that? What the? What? What did I just witness just now? Lava Whip has increased by level three. What Please, the? Please, someone, we need help. Um. Oh, we have to go directly here. Um, There's what's an armager injured on the road outside Sedanin. So much blood. They they need help. Tell me what happened. I'm not exactly sure. The buoyant armager was accompanying Canon Valasan on a mission for Lord Vivek, but something terrible must have what happened. What happened? Canon Valasa sent me to find help. She's on the road just outside of Sedanin. Will you help them? Okay, I'll go find her. Okay, uh, where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Freak! Where the is it? Just so you know, guys, um, there's a lot you should know about me, and, uh, this is actually very much the truth. Number one, I attend, and this is actually very true, I attend to try to help people because I care. I'm a kind person, and that's pretty much how I am. Oh my god. Lord Vivek sent the three of us to seek guidance at the Andrano Ancestral Tomb. We were attacked when we got there, and our guard was seriously hurt. I barely got her to safety, but we failed to complete the mission Lord Vivek bestowed upon us. Three of us? You mentioned another priest? Canon Levu. He remained behind after we retreated from the tomb. I know he wants to get back inside and ask Lord Vivek's questions, but there's no way he can get past the Daedra or ask the questions on his own. May the three grant him wisdom. At dawn rushing. and dusk, evil creeps through the shadows of my beloved Vardenfell. But an outlander arrives to aid my people, just as I have foreseen. Lord Vivek, protect me! That was Azura, the queen of the night sky. And you, she spoke directly to you, outlander! I'm surprised the Daedric Prince would risk Lord Vivek's wrath to proclaim a prophecy. But she did say you were here to aid us. What just happened here? The Daedric Prince Azura possessed that woman and spoke through her. I've heard of such occurrences, of course. But to witness I should have stayed here. She I said keep... evil creeps through the land. I literally just panicked to and head to the temple. The Why? <sighs> Tell me more about the mission. We sought guidance in a matter that concerns Lord Vivek. I received specific questions to ask while Levul concentrated on summoning his ancestor. The Daedra ruined those plans when they fell upon Uunsi and we were forced to flee. Daedra? Vile creatures from oblivion. You hear about an odd ghost or a nest of vampires, but never Daedra. Please, if they're still there, Daedra, they'll okay, rip Canon Levul like apart. He's definitely not a warrior. Just look at what they did to the buoyant armager. What happened? The buoyant armagers comprise one of the military orders of the Tribunal Temple. They seek to emulate Lord Vivek's deeds through actions and words. Poor Ornsi. Those monsters went straight for her. Her blood flowed like lava from Red Mountain. Red Mountain? Where are you from? Children learn of Red Mountain before they even taste flim. The mountain sits at the center of Vardenfell, periodically rumbling like a sleeping nix shaking its leg. Lately, however, it seems to be waking from its long slumber. Okay, first of all, tell me more about Azura. Azura is the cruel but wise Daedric Prince of Dawn and Dusk. She's one of the good Daedra, for what that's worth. But for her to speak through an innocent means something terrible is about to happen. Why else would she dare Lord Vivek's wrath? Lord Vivex and Azura don't get along? What do they teach you where you come from? Lord Vivek's a living god! Azura is merely the anticipation of Sophocene. Vivek stands as the present and the future, while Azura clearly represents Vardenfell's past. So no, they don't get along. Tell me more. Sorry, guys, I had to repeat the what the heck they were trying to say when they because fell I just lost it. And we were forced to flee. Okay, then. You okay. don't know Lord Vivek, one of the living gods of the Dunma Tribunal. You must be new to our land, Outlander. But there's no time. Canon Levul remain behind. He needs help if he's going to get inside the tomb and ask Vivek's questions. Got it. So... What? 
Oh, 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 oh. oh, that's a monster. That is a monster. Okay, yep, good, good, good time. Oh, boy. Okay, yep, that's a good time. That's good timing. That's very good timing. Um, who the freak is that? Four. I'm sorry, did they just say... What kind of... I can't let go of the back down. Okay. Those monsters, it's too dangerous. What am I going to do? God dang it. As the saints declare, the tribunal always provides. We'll need to be cautious, however. Daedra invaded the tomb. Oh, it's no! To talk to one's ancestors while monsters tried to eat you. I'll also need your help when we reach the summoning chamber. What kind of help? Take this scroll with Lord Vivek's inquiries. While I summon forth my ancestor's spirit and concentrate on maintaining the connection, you must ask the questions. He insists we use the exact phrasing. We can go inside when you're ready. I'd like to ask you a few questions before we enter the tomb. There's something not right here, guys. Because I don't know what costume we have to take for this tomb. Let's ask the questions. I've already lost precious time due to the buoyant armager's wounds, but I suppose a few more moments won't make the volcano erupt or the moonlit fall from the sky or anything. What else can I tell you, my friend? I'm not quite sure and it wasn't my place to ask. When your living god gives you a task, you say, Yes, my lord. The questions seem to involve the time before the tribunal, which I assume is why we must ask them of my long-dead ancestor. What's that? A few of my contemporaries can boast of a luminary such as Farina Andrino occupying a prime branch upon their family tree. Lady Farina studied at the feet of Sothisil and was counted among his companions before the tribunal rose to power. Who's Sothisil? <laughs> it's like asking who are Vivek and Almalexia. They are the tribunal, the living gods of the Dunmer. Sothisil is the architect of time and the binder of oblivion. If you want to know more, we can talk after we've finished. Got it. I'm ready. Let's go. Before we go in there and face those monsters, I want you to know how much I appreciate your aid in this matter. Just don't lose the scroll that contains Lord Vivek's questions. Now come. Let's call forth my ancestor. I'll open the tomb door. Lead the way. Follow me, but keep an eye out for those Daedra. Let's get into the tomb. I haven't been in these type of tombs since Skyrim times, man. It's been a while. It has been a while. Wow. Well, the Hall of Remembrance. This is the tomb, man. How many we got down here? Looks like we got a ton down here. Lava whip! Whoa! There we go! Whoa! Whoa! What? What? Wow! Yeah! 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 Boy! How you doing? Alright, I guess it's about that time. Uh, so we gotta go this way, huh? Let's go. There's probably some traps down here. Oh! Oh! I can't activate my lava whip! Ah! Oh, lava whip! 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 Oh, dang it! I tried! Yeah! Yeah! Jesus, girl, you never learn! Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, I guess we're good so far. Okay, we got it. I'm sorry, huh? Okay. Nope. That's not what we need right now. Not exactly what I had in mind. Yeah! Search. Gold. Okay, so we gotta go down here. Into the tomb door. Here you go, boys. Guess we go in here. Open the chamber. Open it! Oh, we can't open it from this side. Really? The hell are we supposed to get out of here then? Huh. Is there another door? Okay, so we gotta go on this side down here in order to go down. Okay. This used to be such a peaceful place. I came here as a young acolyte to meditate. Oh. Well. 
Um, he already got him already. <laughs> Let's get going. Yeah, see, this is what Elder Scroll Online is about. It's like it's working with people you actually like try to go through in fantasy. Like, this. oh, oh, search gold. Take it. All right, come on, man. You don't have time. You must lead the way. Oh, great. Oh, dude, no. Oh, it's about that time. It is about that time, my man. It is about that time. Whip! 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 Oh. Oh. Never learn, huh? Never learn, huh? Never learn? Oh, my. Uh. Where's he at? Oh. And Raw Jack. Got it. Alright, uh, looks like we're gonna keep moving for a bit. The lift was necessary. Yep, yep. take it yourself, girl. <laughs> yes. Well, it looks like there's more fights going on there. So it looks like we're gonna, oh wow, crafting. Visit the crafting station. Stay it. Different crafting station. There are six different trade skills, and I cannot believe they did not expect me to read that. Wow! So inconsistent. Anyways, let's get through. We're nearly we? there. Then we can summon my ancestor. Okay, we're nearly there. Let's go. So we got another player in here, so which is awesome. The summoning chamber. I'll call forth my ancestor, then you can ask the Vex questions. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Oh, yeah, we got to ask him right here. So, this is what it is. Uh. Whoa! Hasn't my rest been disturbed enough by those filthy Daedra? Why do you summon me, descendant? My Lord Vivek has inquiries that only you can answer, my lady. My companion will present them with your permission. The warrior poet? Very well. Ask Vivek's questions. Oh, okay. Ask the warrior poet's questions. Ah, Lord Vivek always had a way with words. Tell him to rest assured. The heart remains seen. I wonder why that concerns him. Ask the remaining questions as my time here is short. An enemy of old, yes. But not the one that Vivek presumes. Huh? Sotha Seal imagined multiple scenarios and contemplated endless solutions. He even experimented with his divinity, drawing energy to study before returning it. Loss will come, he foresaw. But not until the collapse of the temple. Now, back to sleep. I hope that's what Lord Vivek needed. Let's talk outside. Granted. <gasps> Just gotta get out of here, man. This is gonna get bad, man. If that means what I think it means, then we're screwed. I'll tell you guys at the end of the video. I don't want to mention it right now. Huh. He. Oh, there he is. Oh. Thank you for helping me complete my task. <sighs> now, Sorry. I need to return to Vivek City. Have you been there? <laughs> it's amazing. Ziggurats rising out of the water, the moonlit hanging in the sky above. Hey, you should meet me there so I can introduce you to Lord Vivek. Did you understand what your ancestor told us? Just between us, I understood neither the questions asked nor the answers received. Not that I expected to. 
Some things aren't meant for mortal minds. That's another reason for you to come to Quebec City. To help me explain what my ancestors said. Okay. Excellent. Uh, I just need to make a quick stop in Saint Denis to check on my original traveling companions. When you get to Vivec City, head right to the palace, and I'll meet you there. All I right know then. that Lord Vivec will want to reward you for assisting me. Meet you in Vivec City. I'll be along shortly. When you get to Vivec City, head directly for Lord Vivec's palace. 